Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can install the steering wheel control to your head unit. So let's get started. So this pair of steering wheel control cost about $30 when I bought it from eBay. And now I think it's around $38 or something. So basically, this works as they are supposed to. So you have volume up, volume down and then um, GPS, call, disconnect, stop the music. And to program these buttons into your head unit, you're going to have to go to settings of some sort and then find the steering wheel control learning. And then because here I've already programmed them, but in order to program them, I'm going to click either one of these buttons. Say, so for example, um, volume up. It say please press and hold steering wheel button so i'm gonna click volume up if it's very long it will say setup fail please try again so what you have to do is you have to press the volume up again and then press this and then you'll hear you'll see the setup success same thing if you want to reprogram volume down click it click volume down and then you'll see setup success and you can do that for basically the rest of these buttons and then make sure you test them again so if you press volume up you see there's volume up and then volume down and then mute and mute so make sure you after programming everything test every single button make sure they work the way you want it to and I'm gonna show you guys how to wire these things to your head unit because these things these are wireless they have a battery inside it and i'll show you guys the battery so if you lift it up you'll find that it uses this flat um cr20 something battery and then the battery comes with it when you buy it so that's good and it's been lasting for about five six months now and then i I suspect it should last for at least maybe a year or something and then I'll replace it if it doesn't work anymore. And the battery only costs for about a dollar or two, so it's not really a big deal. And then just push it in to secure it, same goes here. And then I've glued that using a 3M glue to the steering wheel so it doesn't move. Alright, so the next part is I'm going to remove these trims. And then I'm going to show you guys how those wirings works. And before we dive into wiring, I want to quickly show you guys um, what to connect where. So I've got this manual from the steering wheel control. And here, if we look at it, it comes with four wires. So the red wire, obviously, is a 12 volt positive wire. The black one goes to the ground. The gray one goes to the key one and the white one to the key two. So that unit is this one over here. So as you can see, four wires comes out of it. The red, black, grey and white. And if you have your manual for the head unit, you'll see something similar as well. So if you have a look, you'll see there is a WC1 and WC2, G6, G7. Those G6 and G7 is what you're going to be connecting with the grey and the white wire that's coming out of this unit here. So the grey and the white comes to this WC1, WC2, and the red and the black is to any 12 volt wire. And I'll show you where I connected those. So this is the controller unit. Again, four wires, the red, black, gray, and white. And if you trace it along, it comes out and the red comes to the 12 volt wire. So this wire I have spliced and connected to the head unit 12 volt wire. And if you look at it here, is the red wire is the second wire from the right and if you look at it here the red wire on the top that is to the right is three and that three means it's ACC so it's G3 which is an ACC wire if you don't want to use this ACC wire you can find any 12 volt wire that you can find in the behind the dash and you can check whether it's 12 volt or not with a multimeter. 
So if you have a multimeter unit, you can test the 12 volt wire. Make sure if you want to test it, um, first test while the engine is off and then test again while the engine is on and make sure it's only using, it's only powering when the engine is switched to ACC or on. Otherwise you could drain the battery essentially. So the next step is finding where the control wires from the head unit and how you can connect them. So if you look at this one here, this unit comes out of the head unit, the orange and the green cable. And if we refer back to the manual, the orange and the green cable is the G6 and G7. So again, G6 and G7 is over here. So that's G7 and that's G6. And if you look at here, you'll find similarly, that's G6 and 7. So that comes out here and the black is the ground wire. So you have, you can connect either white or the gray cable to orange and green. It doesn't matter the white goes to the orange or the white goes to the green. As long as it's connected to either white or green, you should be fine. So just join them up and then start the engine, test it up. If it doesn't work, might be a loose connection or might be a dead battery, but you shouldn't have no problem if you make sure those four wires are connected properly. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, if it doesn't work, let me know in the comments. Um, I'll try to help you as much as possible. If it works, good work. If this video helps you out, make sure you click thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Anyway, hope you guys stay safe, enjoy, and peace out.